Come on. Actually, this is a good way to get yourself into the water. This is to oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, we're gonna clip the land. Oh, no, we're in the water. Yeah, perfectly ac acceptable. Everybody knows all the crew's just right there in the middle. Uh, come on. Okay, air brakes, air brakes. Come on, touchdown, touchdown. Oh, no. Uh, let's go ahead and light up. Okay, those rockets have some drop to it. Yep, 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 okay. What? Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes, and today we're going to be checking out some awesome creations. Now first off, I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on the Simple Planes series. If you missed the last episode, it's going to be in the top right corner. But today, uh, we've got a wide variety of stuff to check out. We have planes, we have a rocket ship, and we have a really big boat that I really hope spawns. I noticed that it loads really slow. So we're going to be doing all that here today. Now do keep in mind all the workshop links are down in the description. So if you want to download any of these planes, they will be down there. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel and let's jump right into this. Alright, so for the first creation, it's the Atlas V and Dream Chaser. This is a rocket, which is really cool because we played with one last episode, which just launched you straight up in the air and then it had like a parachute. But this one's actually got a shuttle at the top of it, so I'm curious if this actually works or if I can make it work. So let's go ahead. It's got its little launch pad here. Uh, let's spawn this bad boy in and see what happens. And oh, no, 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 I keep forgetting that it does that. No, no, no. Uh, can we still initiate? <laughs> see if we can initiate the launch here. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Uh, this is not going to work. Oh, boy. Well, uh, I keep forgetting that Simple Plane saves your last location that you start. Oh, <laughs> it's like a bobber. Hold on, let's see if it comes back up. Does it come back up? Are we okay? We're okay. Yay, we made it. So yeah, I forget that they save your last location that you spawn in, and yeah, I'm on one of the approaches, but it's okay. The shuttle looks to be mostly intact. All right, let's go take this over to uh, solid land. All right, looks like we are ready to go here. Mission controls gives us the go ahead, and let's uh let's launch this thing. Let's go and pull up the menu. All right, you know I really kind of want to kick up the wind just to see what happens. You know what? Let's just try this normal first. So we're gonna go one. And, oh, here we go. Group 1's activated. That's our main rocket. And then, hey, look, there's a plane over there. Hello, plane. All right, let's go group 2. Oh, okay, that breaks that off. Let's go activate those. I probably broke those off way too soon. You know, this one's not going straight up, which is actually good. I think the, uh, the little bursts there actually move this off path. But I'm curious. Uh, let's get some more altitude here. Let's go ahead and go stage four. It's gonna reset. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can point up, point up. There we go. Okay, there goes our. Oh, was that the pot? Oh, hold on. <laughs> I read the instructions, but maybe I didn't exactly get this right. Hold on. Okay, is this thing active now? Can we, can we fly this? Oh, we can. Dude, that's so cool. Hold on. Let's see if we can pull up altitude wise. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. It's not the cameras I want. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, is that, is that, it's like a Sputnik? Huh. Okay, hold on. Wait, <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, that is so cool. That is awesome. So we can actually fly this thing around now. Question is, does this have, oh, I heard the explosion of our rockets. Uh, does this thing have landing gears on it? Oh, it does. Oh, that's insane. I kind of want to do this again. I felt like I, uh, I was a little premature there on the explosions. Uh, hmm. So it, it appeared it had like a little, uh, like a probe in it and it had a pod. That maybe it would have been more appropriate to launch it at a much later time. Oh yeah, we can do this. Let's reset this real quick because I actually want to come back in for like a full landing here and see if we can actually land the uh, shuttle and get the crew home safe. Okay, so that first run was just a test run. What I want to do, I want to launch in the air. Uh, we're going to do almost the same thing. We're going to get a little bit higher and I want to actually take the shuttle and I want to see if I can land it on the beast out there. I, that would be cool to be able to land the shuttle on the aircraft carrier because I do believe the uh, this runway might be a bit easy to land on. So let's go ahead, let's activate our main boosters. Here we go, and boom. Okay, now we're gonna let these uh, burn for a little bit longer here. Oh, it's glorious. Got a little bit of curving going on. I could probably correct that just a bit. Oh yeah, I can counter that some. Uh, starting to arch a little bit. Okay. 
We're gonna release. Okay, let's go ahead and release those and get these activated. Because it seems like it is, uh, it's going down a little bit. Let's see if we can try to counter that some with the shuttle itself. Actually, is my trim off? Is that actually making a difference? No, it didn't. Okay. Uh, our target's way over there. Let's go ahead. We're gonna go with the next stage here. Oh, okay. We're good. <laughs> here goes that rocket. Let's go ahead. All right, we are we're leveled off here. This is like a little satellite or something. We'll release that. And there's like a probe or something that gets released here too. Where did that go? Okay. Uh, let's go and activate the other groups here. I need to get our boosters activated. Okay, here we go. We're ready to go. Oh boy. Okay, activate these. All right, let's go and get. Ah, it's the camera's trying to get over to it real quick. Okay, there's that. There's. Ah, right, here we go. All right, uh, chase view. This is awkward. Uh, let's go chase view. Let's try to get this back here. There we go. All right, so we do have. We're at full throttle here. We've got a lot. I don't know why it auto switched to that, but we're good. Uh, we're leveled off. So we're gonna go see if we can actually do a landing. And let's go by a cockpit view here. Actually, I really want to see this thing hit the ground. Does it explode? Wow, that was a big explosion. Okay. Let's go ahead and get back to our... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. That's what happens when you don't pay attention to stuff. Okay, so... The beast is going to be out there. All right, we can do this. Uh, at least I think we can. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we are approaching the rear side of the beast. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to deploy those. I don't think that you can rip off your landing gear. I know in some games, when you're going a, at a very high rate of speed, it's not a good idea to open those up. But I think we're good here. So we're at about 75% throttle. Uh, we'll back off that here on the approach. I probably need to gain a little bit of altitude. I'm thinking, uh, I think this is possible. Uh, we're burning a lot of fuel though. I noticed that uh, by the time we got down back towards the mountain, we were, at, we were at about, I think about 70%. So I think we have one shot at landing this. If we miss, we're gonna have to glide back in. Using some of the uh, the natural just flowing abilities of this glorious shuttle and okay here we go kill the throttle oh we're high oh that's a tower okay all right we're gonna have to uh oh boy we're gonna burn a little bit of fuel here I don't want to go against the aircraft carrier as it's uh it is moving right now forward we're gonna go ahead and make a big circle here I think we'll get one more shot there I didn't realize how close I was gonna come to the tower. I want to land this. I actually don't want to crash this. I know a lot of my stuff is based on destruction and crashes, but I want to show a tiny bit of skill here. All right, we're in desperation mode here. This thing burns fuel so fast. Oh, okay. We're going to do a high climb. Okay, because we're going to be completely out of fuel here. I'm assuming it doesn't carry much fuel. All right, we're gliding here. We are at the gliding point looking for the beast. If we can have somewhat of a landing on the beast. There it is. Okay. Oh, this might work. No air brakes yet. We'll hit the brakes as soon as we get on the beast. Hey, this might work. I don't like going against these, though. Uh, come on. Okay, air brakes. Air brakes. Come on. Touchdown. Touchdown. Oh, no. Wait, where are we? Oh. 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 Hold on. Okay, nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, that was the most terrible landing I think I've ever done. How it didn't blow up, I have no clue. Uh, that wasn't skill, folks. That was luck. Uh, yeah, like I said, this thing I ran out a lot sooner than I thought it was going to because I released over at the mountains back there and I somehow got over here, missed the first landing, came around and realized, oh no, I'm out of fuel. So anyways, crew, uh, I'm assuming might have a bit of a headache, but we made it home safe. That is an awesome creation. And I think we're ready to move on to the next one. All right, so here we are with one of the biggest ships I've ever seen on the game. This is the NS Kalingrad. Wow, it even lags here. So we can only imagine what's gonna happen when we try to load this. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead, load this out and see if we can at least somewhat spawn this. I wanna sink this. I would like to actually target this with a ship or another aircraft and sink it, but I don't know if we can spawn two things at once with this in the map. All right, so it appears that that, uh, that big ship crashes stuff. Uh, I'm kind of curious, can anybody run that? Uh, that, I have a beefy computer and I couldn't even get that thing to spawn. It just sat there 
And uh, I want to really spawn it because it, it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at this. Look at this. This thing's huge. Oh, boy. We might have to come back and try this one. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to move on to the next creation here. All right. So for our next creation, we're using something a lot smaller. This is a, a, a mobile turret missile launcher thing. Uh, you can see here at the end. Actually, you know, it kind of looks like the missiles in there backwards, but you know, it does not matter. So this is cool. It's got quite a few missiles in it. Uh, let's see this thing work. This would be fun to use and oh, well, that makes a mighty noise. Oh, is that just the, uh, oh, okay. So hold on, this thing turns. I know the VTOOL uh, controls actually will move the, uh, you can move the turret up and down. Uh oh, don't want to do that. Oh, here we go. Uh, these will move it up and down. Oh, it's actually it goes straight vertical and it can go to the other side, too And I know your trim buttons actually uh, rotate the turret. That's cool All right now question is our actual going forward. Is that the is it the throttle the thrusters or? Huh, I don't know if I checked that part out. Oh plane just passed over us. Let me see if I can figure out how to make this thing actually go All right What we're getting locked on to hold on uh, Fire your missiles. I don't wait Oh, oh, the Komodo jet's locking on to us. What the heck? We didn't do anything to you. Hold on. Come around. Uh, come around. Uh, okay. Hold on. We have got to get this thing knocked out. Let's go ahead. Let's, you know, let's just spam missiles. Look at that. Look at the missiles that it's letting off and up. Oh, Komodo jet just went down. What? Okay. Oh, we got another one locking on to us. Bombers inbound. Let's go ahead and launch our rockets. How many of these things does it have? Oh. Just went behind the mountain. Okay, we know he's going to come back. It's so amazing. We just immediately got targeted there. Okay, let me figure out how to actually drive this. All right, here we go. So it is a WASD. I don't know how I didn't pick up on that. Uh, here comes the... Uh, oh, it's coming over the mountain here. No, 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 no. Don't tip. Don't tip. Don't tip. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead. Wait. Wait a minute. The thing is not... That's a bomber. How does it even expect to hit me? I'm kind of curious, actually. Uh, is it gonna attempt to drop a bomb here on us? No, I'm not sure it actually has missiles to hit us here. What's it doing? Yeah, the AI in uh, Simple Planes is a bit questionable. Okay. Uh, uh. <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. Alright, let's get over here. Alright, buddy. Alright. Come on. Come on, I'm giving you the chance to shoot one of your rockets at me. All right, let's go ahead and shoot one at it. And that was a miss. Let's go another one. Okay, it's traveling too fast. Not unless that, is that missile going to come around? Oh uh, boy, let's go ahead and go one there. That that one might actually chase it down. Let's try to reposition our gun. There it goes. Oh, it's taking a real tight turn. It is not happy. Not happy at all. Okay, here we go. I don't know if that one even, one even has missiles. That is my first craft, which I think my jet had missiles, but maybe that one doesn't. Its only option might be to do a little bit of kamikaze attack here. All right, come on. We're going to lock onto you here. Let's go and release a couple of these. Oh, I am not even close here. There we go. Uh, that one looks like it's going to be close. Come on, chase him down. Ooh, maybe I did let it get too close. Does it look like we're actually using rockets here? Yeah, okay, we definitely are. We're down to like one or two here. Uh, come on. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's not gonna be any hit in that. That thing, it's it's hovering way too close. And yeah, I'm out of rockets now, so the targeting's off. You know what? We're just gonna get out of here. You can just, uh... Oh, never mind. It just took itself out. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's so uh, I love the AI in the game. All right, I think we're ready to check out the uh, next creation, but that is uh, that's definitely awesome. All right, so we have a VTOL. It's a German U-boat, and this doesn't look like any U-boats I've ever seen. I mean, at least the guns don't. They look like big Gatlin cannons on top of them. Look at that. That is cool looking. Now, question is, let's go ahead and spawn this in and see how this works. I was reading the description, and I don't know. Oh. You know, I don't know if this is going to work on the land, is it? Uh, oops. Um, yeah, it's, it, guys, it's totally going to work up here. Wait, what? Whoa. Whoa, that's got speed. Why does it have so much speed to it? What is this thing going to do in water? Hold on. Let's, uh, if I veto the other way? Is this thing going to actually lift here? Come on. 
Actually, this is a good way to get yourself into the water. This is oh, this is not gonna work. Oh, we're gonna clip the land. Oh, no, we're in the water. Yeah, perfectly ac acceptable. Everybody knows all the crew's just right there in the middle. Um, do the guns still work? Nope, guns are disabled. That is, uh, that's shockingly fast. Uh, that is really, really fast. Let's go stick this in the water real quick and, uh, see what we can do with it. Cause uh, I'm actually curious. I've been looking for a good boat like this that we can target other vessels with. And with how fast this is, I have a feeling we might be able to take out the beast. All right, here we are. Okay, you can definitely tell there's some resistance now because of the water. Uh, let's go ahead. Can we make this thing dive? I see the little extra rockets there. This is still incredibly fast. Uh, this will work good. Let's check the turning on it, which I think the turning... Oh, there it goes. Ooh, the turning's good on it, too. Okay, so you got the turning. You got two guns on this thing, which uh, I think we're going to go out and target the beast. Uh, let me go ahead and work the guns real quick. And What the heck? Oh, those are definitely Gatlin guns. Check that out. That is awesome. Our Gatlin, I keep saying Gatlin. I should probably say mini guns. Uh, that is cool. Look at the spread on that. That's insane. Now, unfortunately, I don't think there's any torpedoes on this ship. Uh, I think it's mostly all Gatlin gun stuff. And Oh, here comes the, uh, here comes the flyby. There we go. There's your uh, target, or your cockpit view, which the cockpit view conveniently has the gun right there, so... Oh, that sounds so awesome. Alright, uh, let's get out there to the beast, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of engagement here. What the... What? What was that for? <laughs> what just happened? I'm sitting here minding my own business, and I look up, and a plane has just run it. I don't, I don't understand. What did we look like a runway? Uh, okay. Well, we've got a bit of damage. Let me go ahead and repair this real quick. Um, that was strange. Uh, that really caught me off guard. Is there another plane coming for us? I see another plane in the distance. Please don't run into us. All right, we're here with the beast. You know what? I really underestimated how big the beast is and its little destroyer companions. Uh, this U-boat actually isn't that big. Now, it's morely a question of, will these miniguns do enough damage to the beast to actually affect it? So, let's go ahead and go into cockpit mode here. I uh, kind of have a wide turning radius right here. Okay, we're about to slow down and we're going to park right here. Oh yeah, let's light up the beast. And... Uh, I know we're ricocheting off it right now. Huh, seems to be uh, unaffected. It's uh, a little disappointing. We don't have any missiles, do we? No, we do not. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we do have torpedoes. How did I miss that? Huh, I missed that the first go around. Okay, you know what? We are going to sink the beast. That one's going to go right in between. I know we're going to tick off these uh, destroyers. Question is, can their AA fire actually hit me? Because under a certain level, they might not be able to target me. So, I don't know how many more torpedoes. There's a weapon selector here somewhere. Hold on, let's just go ahead. We're going to go up towards the rear. I know we should really probably be hitting this to the side. You know that torpedo over on the left side came awfully close to that destroyer out there. Just saying. All right. Let's go ahead. Uh, release. Can I, can I have another one? There we go. Up, 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 up. Target the side of it a bit. Oh, those are def- oh, that is loud. Oh, there, yeah, that was a good hit. Oh, we are getting targeted. Uh-oh. Okay, come on. We got a- we got a battle going on now. Oh, no, it can definitely hit me. It can definitely hit me. All right, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, let's light you up. Uh, we're lighting her up. Oh, you know, it makes such a racket, but it's like the, uh, the actual miniguns are not doing enough damage to it. Uh, we're gonna come in close. Uh oh Oh, something's wrong here. Oh, our fuselage. Oh, it just came out. Uh, that's not normal. Uh, come on. We're good. Uh, what about the beast? Is the beast... Oh, the beast is going down. We have taken down the beast, but, uh, we have... Uh, but we're gonna die in the process here. All right, so the fuselage is damaged, but I still have somewhat control over this. Uh, let's see if we can use the VTOL uh, controls here to try to get it back down in the water. I'm going to push those rockets down. Oh, that's somewhat working, actually. 
Can we throttle back up? Oh, we're almost out of fuel. We're about to be dead in the water here. We did take the aircraft carrier out, uh, but wait. Do we got- Oh no, that's a rocket! That's a ro <laughs> You know, we actually took out the other destroyer. That minigun, it just took a little bit for it to actually kind of go through and actually sink it. So, that was a- eh, that was two, of, two out of three there. I would take that. That's a cool creation. I'm definitely keeping that. I could picture using that in the future. If you guys have any suggestions for that, uh, let me know down in the comments below. Cool creation. But anyways, uh, let's move on to the next thing. Alright, for the next craft here, we have a Corsair. These are probably my favorite World War II aircraft. I love the way these things look. Uh, a lot of times you would see these on top of like an aircraft carrier with the wings folded up. Uh, I think you said to unfold the wings. It's like the VTOL controls? Or is it the trim over here? There's a way to do these. Hold on. Let me go ahead and get these out real quick. Alright, so this one's actually got it into uh, little key groups here, so we'll hit one here, and this will unfold the wings. And we should be good to go. It's actually got a hook, uh, to ca or one of these little hook catches for aircraft carriers, which I don't think that's a thing in the game. Uh, but it's a neat little feature that it's got, so uh, we better get moving here. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and lift off. Now this thing does have, uh, guns on it. It appears to have either bombs. I don't think those are missiles. We, I think they, uh, I think the actual real aircraft uh, carried both, but... Let's go ahead and get those landing gear up. Okay, they fold up. Let's see, how does this thing handle? Uh, let's go into a little bit. Ooh, that is a cool cockpit camera. Oh, that's cool. It's actually in it. You don't see that often. Uh, here's another one. Okay, so here's a chase view. How does this thing, how does it handle? It feels pretty good. I'm liking this. Uh, it feels a bit like it might need a bit of an adjustment. It doesn't want to pull up that sharp. Uh, of course, there's uh, flap adjustments, I believe, built into this one, too, that maybe we can uh, play around with those. Okay. Oh, that's a lot better right there. Uh, a little bit more wobble. Let's go a little less on that adjustment. There we go. Yeah, that, that lifting feels better now. Oh, this is awesome. This has a lot of built-in controls. Uh, I like this a lot. You don't always see that in some of these crafts. So some of them just look amazing, but... The adjustability in this one's uh, pretty awesome. All right, those look like uh, those kind of look like rockets. I don't know. Let's see what these are. I, I believe these things could carry light bombs too, if I'm not mistaken. Let's. Uh, I don't seem to be target. Maybe those are bombs. Uh, let's see. Can I drop any of these here? Let's go to let's see weapon system. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just turn these off real quick and see what we can do. There's our guns, okay. But how do we get our bombs out? Maybe that is a ground weapon. Maybe we need to go air to ground here. Yep, those are rockets. Okay, so uh, I guess we're gonna play around with the beast here. Uh, we're gonna tick it off. You know, it's like we only just took off from it. I wonder if I were to spam the rockets here. If we can light those up. Let's go to cockpit real quick. Wonder how accurate this targeting is. We're about to see. All right, let's go. Uh, uh, come on, keep going. Oh, that was some hits. That was some good hits. Okay, let's go ahead and speed off. Uh, there's never enough rockets, though. All right, let's go vertical. I know we got some hits there on the aircraft carrier. Question is, did we hit one of the destroyers? Uh, I know we're getting shot at. <laughs> oh, oh, we got both of them. Oh, no, we got our wing blown off. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, I feel like we need to make that, uh, we need to do another run there. That was actually, uh, that was pretty incredible there. Now, especially, uh, that I know how that works. Alright, we're coming in on a run here. I'm looking for the targets. I believe they should be appearing here. There they are. Okay, they're over here to our right. Alright, we are about to light them up, try to level off here. Still a little wobbly. Uh, let's go ahead and light up. Okay, those rockets have some drop to it. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, okay. What? Well, that's not exactly the way I wanted to target those two. Uh, that was not the attack method. <laughs> uh, I feel like, let's go for one more aerial run here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So our targets, let's see how well this works. Uh, ground mode. Uh, there we go. Lit them up. Come on. Oh, we barely pulled up there in time. All right, that was definitely, that was a hit on the aircraft carrier. Let's try to get out of AA. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, come on. Uh, it's locked. See if we can avoid it. Come on, I hear it coming. 
Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I think we actually dodged the missile. No, 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 it's another lock. Uh, here comes another one. Oh. All right, we're good. Let's see if we can light up a destroyer here. Ugh. Oh, they got us. They got us. No. Oh, it's so hard to do that with an old plane. Yeah, it's so hard when you got a World War II plane and they've got, like, missiles. Oh, we hit this one. I did not notice that. Huh. Uh, well, the beast is down. That is epic looking. Wow. But anyways, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. Like I said, the creations are down in the description. So if you want to play with anything that you saw here today. Also, I kind of want to challenge. Can anybody spawn that big ship? I'm really curious. Uh, comment below if you were able to get that spawn. Because I have a beefy computer. And I really would love to see that in game. So yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Simple Planes. Thank you.